Hey, what's up all, it's Jono here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play, and we currently find us here at Ecritic Dance Theatre. That's because, well, after quite a bit of an adventure in the last session, we ended up battling against uh, all five of the Kimono Girls, and after defeating all of them, we were given the um, Tidal Bell, if we have a look in here. No, not in there, it would be a key item, wouldn't it? Yes, we were given the Tidal Bell, an old-fashioned bell with a gentle, soothing sound. And together with the Silver Wing, that means we should be able to encounter the legendary Lugia at the World Islands. And in fact, that's where the Kimono Girls have gone to, so that's where we're going to be going next. We're going to uh, check out the World Islands. But something I will be doing first is I'm going to be doing some item restocking. And I also need to heal my Pokemon after our encounter because Typhlosion is on the verge of fainting. Uh, and Frost has already fainted and Lapras is currently burned. So, quite a tough encounter with the Kimono Girls. But, um, you're alright, aren't you, Typhlosion? Oh my! <laughs> that was a wonderful dance! Oh man, I forgot how many different interactions your Pokemon can do depending on where they are, like your Pokemon can dance. I wonder if any of my other Pokemon will dance. I know I'm already getting distracted, so um, Espeon, do you want to dance? Yes it does, alright. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's bring Typhlosion back up here. And, well, first of all, let's heal our Pokemon. And I will change my Pokemon squad eventually, but not until we arrive in... Well, I was going to say Olivine, but actually I think it might be better to go from Cyanwood instead. I think the World Islands is closer to Cyanwood than Olivine, so probably make more sense to go to uh, Cyanwood instead. Anyway, let's heal our Pokemon. I'll change my Pokemon when we, when we get to Cyanwood, because I'm not going to be using Pidgeot. I'm probably going to need to bring Krabby along with me. Because no doubt I'm going to assume that we're going to need to... Well, obviously we need to surf across. Oh, hang on, and we got some items to collect. So I guess we need to surf across, but... Wouldn't surprise me if we also need to push a few boulders or smash a few rocks or whatever. Anyway, just a few berries from the delivery man. Anything else? Ooh, something else. And... Mm, more berries. No further packages. Fair enough. Right, okay, let's stock up on some items. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I've got some nuggets to sell. Because I'm actually pretty rich now. Because, well, not only do I have a nugget, uh, wherever it is. Oh, oh there it is. Nuggets. I got three of them? Oh, blimey. How have I not sold them yet? Right, sell them for 15,000. There we go. And. In the last session, we also quickly stopped by uh, at, our at our house and withdrew a, a bit, quite a bit of money that we've been saving up. And as a result, I've got well over 160,000 Poké Dollars. So, let's actually buy some more items and I think some more Ultra Balls will be good. I, mean, I know I've already got 20, but my plan with this Lugia that we're going to encounter I'm not going to be using the Master Ball. We got a Master Ball from Professor Elm last time. But I'm going to save that for a later Legendary encounter because no doubt about it, there's probably going to be a lot more Legendary Pokemon to capture. So I think just to be on the safe side and the fact that I've got so much money, I'm just going to buy a crap ton of Ultra Balls. And, I f and sadly, I think those are the only Pokeballs you sell. Anything else do I want to buy while I'm here? Maybe some more repels. Actually, a few escape ropes might not be a bad idea. Let's just buy three, because I did use a few uh, earlier on in the, in the adventure, and might not be a bad idea just to have some just in case. Uh, I don't think we need any repels. I've got a few, and I'm probably just going to use a repel whilst we're surfing towards the World Islands. Just to, uh, get things over and done with as quick as possible. Right, do you have anything useful? Uh, just a heal ball and a net ball. That's not going to be any use. I can't remember if any of the, uh, Pokemarts actually stock different items from that other counter. Because I would like to try getting some other kind of Pokeballs, so... 
Tell you what, let me just very, 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 very quickly go to black form. Seeing as I've never really bothered to check out the Pokemarts there. So let me just very quickly head back to uh, where we had our final gym badge. And let's just double check what you have. Is it the same stock? Oh no, it is slightly different. At night or in dark places, but you also sell the netball. Mm, I don't think the dusk ball is going to be any good. I mean, World Islands is a cave and it's a dark cave, but I don't know if they're... Are they as strong as Pokeballs? Hang on a minute, let me just double check something. Okay, I've just had a look and it seems like the Dusk Balls might actually be better than the Ultra Balls. So I tell you what, let's buy a few of them, even though I know I already just bought a load of Ultra Balls. But Dusk Balls could potentially be a good option. So, you know what? We'll try some Dusk Balls. That's sad, I got loads of money because we saved a lot of them, so yeah, you know what? We'll try them. We'll try using the Ultra Balls first, but then we'll move on to the Dusk Balls if necessary. Yeah, because I was just reading... Just reading online, and it looks like Ultra Balls, I think, have what, a capture rate of times two or something like that? And the Dusk Balls, if used in the right scenario, is 3.5, like, times 3.5, so... By my understanding, the Dusk Balls should work better than Ultra Balls in a cave. But, we'll see. Anyway, uh, move some Pokemon because I don't need Pidgeot. Instead, I need my HM Slave. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I always keep doing that. <laughs> the buttons just keep moving. Right, uh, exit the box. Yep. And let's head to the World Islands. And actually, while we're at it, I'm actually going to switch my Pokemon. Let's put Ampharos at top there. Because the first thing we're going to want to do when we encounter this Lugia is we want to paralyze it. And I'm pretty sure there's more effective ways of, you know, inflicting like a status effect on Lugia. Like if I put it to sleep or maybe freeze it. But at least with it being paralyzed, it'll be uh, it'll be there for good. Plus, I don't want to use something like poison or burn, otherwise I'll end up knocking the damn thing out. So we'll try using um, thunder wave and paralyze it just for a better chance of capturing it. Anyway, let's go across this whirlpool, and yeah, there we go. We're pretty close to the world lions from Cyanwood, so I made the right decision. But of course, there's multiple entrances, so I just went in here randomly. So you know what? Let's we'll check it out. We might as well check out all of the entrances. There might be something good in each of them. Let's see what's what. Ah, it's dark. We need a Pokemon that knows Flash, and I don't have a Pokemon that knows it. Luckily, I do have the TM for it in my backpack. But I don't know if I really want to use it on one of my Pokemon, but I guess I don't have any choice. Okay, so Ampharos and Espeon can learn it. Hmm. I could teach it to Ampharos. What, what moves do you know again, Espeon? Let's have a quick look. What moves do you know? Quick Attack, Psy Beam, Bite, Shadow Ball. I suppose I could sacrifice Quick Attack. Especially considering Espeon's stats. 67 for Attack versus 114 for Special. And obviously, you no know, Bite, but that could be useful in certain situations. You know what? I'll, let, I'll make uh, Espeon forget um, Quick Attack. We don't really need to know Quick Attack anymore. And even then, this is probably just going to be a temporary thing, so that's fine. So, Espeon, can you do me a favour and use Flash? And seeing as Espeon now knows Flash, we might as well uh, eventually check out more of um, Dark Cave, which we've not yet done. Right, so we've got water there and a ladder. Let's go down the ladder first. Let's just see what's going on. Uh, any items hidden? Looks like there isn't. Alright, fair enough. But there is an item in plain sight. Ah, an escape rope. I've already bought a few, but not a bad thing to have. 
Uh, a boulder. Okay, so we needed a Pokemon of strength, but it looks like, based with the way the rocks are formed down there, looks like this is a one-way system, so we can't go down this way. Anything up here? No. That's a dead end as well. Okay, so this ladder at least is a dead end. But there was a bit of water to the side here, so maybe there's another way in. Well, there's another item and another ladder. Nice. And another Ultra Ball. Okay, well, I've got plenty of Ultra Balls. <laughs> right, let's go down the ladder. Okay, so that's pretty much just taken us back down to where we were before. Ah, Repel's worn off. Might as well see what kind of Pokemon appear. So, that's an alternative way out. What do we have up here? Well, we have a Pokemon encounter. That's what we have. So, let's see what the Pokemon is. It is just a Zubat. No, thank you. Not in the mood for Zubat today. Any items? Okay, there is a hidden item somewhere, but looks like not nearby. There's definitely one nearby. Okay, there's a ladder going up, interestingly. I was kind of expecting to find a ladder to go down, but whatever. Anyway, another calcium. Okay, apparently there is an item. Right where I was walking. Okay. Why did that not appear before? Alright, well, whatever. We'll have a little walk back. And see whether it's an important item. Also, I kind of want to see what other Pokemon appear. Okay, Golbat, that makes sense considering we've seen Zubat. I mean, Golbat's there are worth more experience points than Zubat, so it might be worth me uh, battling against some Golbat. Yeah, Thundershock, very easily done. I gotta say, if I was gonna teach Ampharos Flash instead of Espeon, I probably would have made it forget uh, Thundershock. And hey, Dragonair leveled up! Nice! And another Pokemon encounter. I was just about to click on the. Uh... Hey, a Krabby! Just about to click on the item finder, but no, a Krabby's decided to get in my way. And easily done. Actually, this should level of Ampharos, actually. Ooh, not quite, not quite. In here? Another Ultra Ball. Man, why are people stuffing Ultra Balls in the most random of places? <laughs> oh well, whatever. Alright, well, let's have a look at what this, where this ladder goes, but really, I wanted a ladder that goes down, not up. So, presumably, this ladder here takes us to one of the other entrances to Whirl Island. But I guess that's fine, and you know what? I know it's only a crabby, but you might as well, uh, might as well battle against it, Ampharos, just to uh, level you up. Ah, critical hit. Completely unnecessary, but happy that you did it regardless. And there we go, level 38. I'm probably going to give the experience share to one of my other Pokemon. Eventually, instead of having it to Dragonair. So let's go up here. Yeah, this looks like another entrance. Yeah, this is just another entrance. Okay, well that's good to know. This is looks like the southeast entrance. Alright, where's the Whirlpool? It's row over there. Okay, so it looks like none of the south ones are the ones that need to go, so let's go into one of the northern uh, entrances. Also, just while we're going around here, I might as well just activate another super repel. Because I can't be bothered battling against the water Pokemon around here. Okay, so let's try... we'll try one of the northern entrances. We'll go to the northwest. Why not? Also, I battled against all these people. Apparently, I've not battled against you. Wow, I did miss someone <laughs> on my journey around here. Well, I guess that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll take a bit of time to battle you. 
I feel a little sorry for you because I'm kind of pretty much almost double the strength of you, so, um... Sorry I missed you before, but, um, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Uh, I had a feeling I may have missed at least one person to battle against in my original journey down here. Yeah, star me. Alright, well, thunder shock. Yep, that was enough. Oh dear. I'm sorry that I left it so long to battle against you, whatever your name is, Kara, but, um, yeah. I blame myself for not going down this way before. I had a feeling I may have missed someone. Have I battled you? Have I battled you? Apparently I have. Alright, uh, where's the other world? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll try the northern, uh, the northwest entrance, seeing as, well, the whirlpool's right here. And I don't know where the whirlpool for the other island is, so let's go this way first. And see what we have. Oh, and of course someone put a big rock there, so I'm gonna have to once again hop on Possibly quite literally, bearing in, in mind Krabby's size, onto Krabby while we surf across the water. <laughs> right, oh, and we need to activate Flash again because we have re entered the cave. There we go. Wow, this is a very small entrance. Alright, well, we've only got one way to go, and for us, let's see where this takes us. Um, are we here? Yes, there is an item nearby. Presumably in that little rock there. Yes, indeed. A pearl. Oh, I think we could sell them. Okay, nothing nearby. Okay, looks like we got a slight split in the path, although it just goes to the same way eventually. A full restore. That's very nice to have. Very nice to have. I'll gladly take that. So we've got a way down that way. Oh, I think uh, Super Repel still in effect right now. Right. Oh, not anymore. Okay, so we've got a ledge we can jump over there and also down there. That just takes us back round to where we were before. Another nugget, okay. <laughs> Already sold a bunch of them, but it's always nice to have considering I spent quite a bit of money on the... Um, all those Dusk Balls. Well, let's see what kind of Pokemon. Yep, just another Krabby. Okay, we're not seeing a huge variety of Pokemon around here. So, you know what, let's just run away. Well, we'll go this way, might as well. Another ladder going up, so it, presumably this goes to the other island. Yet another Ultra Ball. <laughs> yeah, this looks like this goes back, to, well this goes up to the northeast entrance. But interestingly, the northeast entrance has a load of those ledges, I wonder if there's another ladder somewhere, but let's head back down because there is still more to see. There we go, not too bad. Experience points wise. Oh no, this is a one way. Never mind. But maybe there's something else up there. Might be worth checking that out. Oh, there is. There's a ladder up there. Right. Okay, looks like the northeast entrance might be the key. But you know what, that's fine. If, if the northeast entrance ends up being the way we need to go, that's fine, because I want to do a bit of exploring around here anyway. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to battle this Krabby. There must be some other different Pokemon around here. Can't just be Krabby and all the bats. Uh, while we're here, nothing here. There is a jumpable ledge here. Ah, I think we're just back around to where we were before. Yeah, we're back where we were before. Alright, well, we'll go down. And if we don't see anything else, we'll go to the northeast entrance. Uh, just another Krabby. Not really that interested. And let's go down here. Although, actually, I just realised where this takes us. This took us back to where we were before, weren't we? To the, uh, the southwest entrance. Alright. There is a ladder there, though. Hmm. Okay, well that's fine. We'll go check out the northeast <laughs> entrance then. Uh, where was the whirlpool? It's up there. All right, north east entrance it is then. 
Sorry, Krabby. I'm gonna have to hop on one leg once again onto you just so we can surf, despite what it shows <laughs> on the game itself. Yeah, somehow Krabby's grown like massively, so I'm able to actually sit on it. But hey, why should I uh, ask questions? It's a video game after all. They don't always have to make sense. Right, where's this other entrance? And of course I take the uh, the long way around, don't I? Yes I do. Well, that's fine. Also, let's go in that way because otherwise if I um, used the move <laughs> from the right hand side where I was briefly, I would have gone across the whirlpool for nothing. And I'm getting a call from Liz. Alright Liz, what's going on? Oh dear. Yeah, wrong number. Uh, I can't remember who Liz was. Yeah, I can't remember an awful lot of these people. <laughs> but, wrong number. And here we are, the northeast entrance of Whirl Islands. Let's see if this one ends up being the right one. And as usual, we need to use Flash. Let's be on. Use Flash. There we go. So, and ah, community repels effect war off. Perfect. Right, so that takes us down to that ladder. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. Yes, there's the other ladder. So that takes us to, yep, the one that we saw before. There's an item, but it's down there. Ah, whatever. I don't care anymore. I just want to see what's down here now. Uh, nothing terribly exciting, but we are on the slightly higher level, so this is a good sign. Okay, so we've got a ladder going down there. That takes us back to where we were before. So let's go down this ladder. Let's see where this takes us. Takes us even lower. Yeah, max revive. So how do we get to that other ladder? I must have missed a path somewhere. Yeah, there's two items there. So there's obviously another ladder and another way I somehow missed. So I might have to check that eventually. Anyway, uh, excuse me, you're kind of blocking the way there. That thing you have. You have found it. Please go ahead. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Interesting, we've got a cave here. Ooh. Oh, this looks pretty sweet. And I found a rare candy. I still haven't uh, used any of them yet. Oh, let's just take a moment to have a look at this view. Man. There's quite the waterfall, Ampharos. Oh, you're holding something. Blimey, you're just like my Typhlosion. A Shed Claw. Alright, we're getting more stuff for the fashion case. Eh, maybe I should head back to the photo booth and take some more pictures of my Pokemon. Because I think we're getting quite a few more items in our fashion case now. Finally, a wild Pokemon. It's been a while. And it's just a Krabby. Level 24, but just a Krabby. Just a Krabby. Not really that interested. But what I am interested is I want to see what's through this cave. Well, actually, I think I have a pretty good idea what it's going to be. But not before we have another encounter with another Krabby. Once again, I really do not care, Krabby, so kindly go away. Also, I think just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to quickly save the game. Well, that's it for this episode of my Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play, but there'll be some more episodes coming up very soon. So, for the time being, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.